Okay, so what did I just do? Well, for some, I, I, may have, I may have been able to recover this, but it did tell me, and again, the root mean squared should come out the same way. Uh, so now, what should the restricted residual sum of squares here be compared to the unrestricted one? They should be higher, right? Because remember, the first one was unrestricted. It could choose the minimum of the residual sum of squares. The next one tries to do that, but it has a constraint, right? And we know it was binding because the coefficients didn't add up to 1, they added up to 1.2. So if you restrict them to add up to 1, it's not going to be able to minimize at the same value. So let's go back and see if we get that, okay? So what was my residual sum of squares? 0.8794, if I got this right. That's the average. I want the sum. Okay, so n times x bar will give me the sum of the numerator, right? Okay, this is the average squared error times n will give me the total sum of the squares. Okay, eight seven nine four. I hope this works. Okay, so let's go back to our first model. Yeah, so the residuals here in the first model here added up to what? 0 0.08066, right? Okay. So 0 0.08067, or 07. and this is 0.87, it's a lot higher, right? Which it should be. Now you have a formula in your book where you can do an F test, okay, and look at the comparison between the restricted and unrestricted divided by blah, 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 it's in your book. And you can see, is this restriction binding or not, okay? I don't know because I haven't tested yet, but you can do the R squared or F test and say, is that test? Now, the other way to do that is, let me go back to the beginning. Let's run this model and then test. Now again, the F test on this is running the same type of it's running the same same type of restriction, and then it's giving you the overall value, of the F value of that restricted to unrestricted, and it's saying it's not that significant. So I think it should come out insignificant. Okay. So it should be that the restriction, running the restricted regression, does not lead to a serious um, imposition in the data. Okay, enough to worry you, you have you have to worry about the results that much. Right now, again, you still have an issue here, which is you know energy and labor are positive, but capital is zero and significant. So, you, but you know you really believe capital should be low. Now, again, technically, I wouldn't drop it. You know, even though it's the wrong sign and it's significant, I just say, well, it's still zero or close to zero. The fact that it's not different from zero doesn't mean it, it's not different from 0.01 either, right? Okay. Yeah, Mr. Bill.
So again, the point of this is 